My name is Ron Drescher. I'm a um, bankruptcy lawyer. We're going to talk about the iPhone, the iPad, some cloud apps, um, and how I use them in my practice. So what I'd like to do to start is I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, you know, you may notice I've got the iPad over here. So yeah, I'm kind of affecting that. And I can manage the iPhone over here um, through an Apple TV. I've got two Apple TVs here. They're about the size of a hockey puck. They cost $99. It, awesome presentation tool to be able to use your iPhone or your iPad. Uh, if you've got a flat panel, it works really well. The, um, I can I can move the iPad on the landscape. It looks a lot better. I'll try to keep it on the landscape as much as possible. So, one of the things that I I like to do is I like to put in some keyboard shortcuts on my iPhone. That'll be over here because I really hate typing on the iPhone. Um, you know, it's it's a it's um, it's a necessity. So so what they've got, if you look through here, I've gone through the settings and uh, I've gone through general, and now I'm into keyboard. All right, and so there are keyboard shortcuts. I've got all these email addresses. You see uh, that Ron Drescher at Mac dot com. All right, put in U.S. Bankruptcy Court. Uh, I was going to delete that. Let's do a different one. Let's, we're going to add a new shortcut, and I'm going to say Consumer Bankruptcy Section. All right, that worked. I'm always excited when that works. That's Siri. It's a feature from the iPhone 4S, and I use it constantly. We're going to call that CBS. All right, now I can capitalize Consumer Bankruptcy Section if I want. In fact, let's do that. Make it a little nicer. All right, now I'm going to go over, you know, if you double click, those of you who have the iPhone, on the home screen, on the home button, it'll bring up this, this little series of apps. It's a quick switch device. So I'm going to go back to, uh, to Notepad, and I'm going to do, let's see, Consumer Bankruptcy Section. Hello. And you see it comes up like that. And I click the space bar, and it comes in. And I use this a million times a day. Who's got a business card? Yeah, I got it. All right. Let's go back and grab that business card. Thank you. I'm, I'm really excited about a new app that I've been playing around with called Card Munch. Um, and what Card Munch is a free app that you get from, from LinkedIn. And what Card Munch lets you do is, and I apologize if I'm blocking, blocking your, your view, I'll try to do that as little as possible, is it creates a camera and it allows you to take the picture. And there are a bunch of apps that actually do something like this. We'll focus on. All right, so there we've got um, Pat's picture. Hopefully that's in enough sync, in enough focus. I'm going to upload this to LinkedIn server. So we're going to come back to that in, in a little while. Now, another thing I'm going to do, remind me to send an email to Richard Goldberg thanking him for letting us use the conference room. When would you like me to remind you? 20 minutes. Here's your reminder for today at 12.14 p.m. All right. Okay, I'll remind you. So that works okay. I'm going to try to set this talk up into these sections. Setting up, which I'm doing a little bit of now. We're going to talk about in the office. 
I'm going to show you how I use the iPad when I meet with a client. Getting ready to go out, a lot of people ask me, how do you move documents onto the iPad? How does that work? Uh, at the hearing, ways to use the iPad at a hearing so that you're not kind of falling all over yourself. And then stuff you really can't do very easily yet. One of the things that I like to do on the iPad is, is create folders and home screen icons. Um, so let's say we go into Safari. And let's, let's go to the Judiciary website. Uh, this is something we go on all the time. There's this little icon up here that I just pressed. Call, uh, you could add an icon to the home screen. So I click on that. We'll call it, you can call it Judiciary. And I'm going to add it, and it's showing me that it's right over here. Now what I can do, I'm not in, I'm not in um, Safari, but if I press that, it's going to bring up Safari, it brings it up right away. So it's, it's a nice feature. Now what I'm going to do is for, I'm going to move it into a folder. That's what I call my practice folder, and you can see it down on the dock at the below. Well, you'll notice that when the, I move I, icons back and forth, the bottom row of icons don't move. That's the dock. That means that you can reach the apps that are in that dock, whatever screen you're in. And so I park my most used apps there. Folders are really neat because it's, it saves you space on your home screen and it uh, enables you to group apps together that you're likely to think of similarly. So for example, I've got, and to, to make a folder, all you do is you, you hold down on the app and they all start squiggling around. That, that's, a, that's a tech term. And you, and you move it over and all of a sudden it's created an app and it, it thinks I wanna call it social. So I'll call it social, why not? All right, now I wanna move LinkedIn into that folder, and now I've got all three apps in a folder. Now that's pretty helpful, but what's especially helpful is to move folders into the dock. And I've got a folder that I call practice. Move it back where it, and that's how you move it, just drag it right over into the dock. Um, now I'm gonna click on this and you can see, I already have Judiciary in there. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to delete it now and show you what I'm doing. I'm going to now. To make it stop squiggling, just press the Home button again. This is how you move icons and apps around on your home screen to make it, you know, more usable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that Judiciary um, icon. See, it still works. I'm going to move the judiciary icon into the practice folder in the dock uh, because I use that constantly when I'm with clients. And that's how you do these things, creating folders and moving apps around.